Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. So as you can see, we're streaming this today, so uh, trying to get a microphone. <laughs> Standing in odd places with cords in odd places, but Merry Christmas. <laughs> So I love all the Christmas carols, and I talked a little bit about them last week. Some of them are so idyllic and paint such a gorgeous scene, and we long for whatever they're trying to portray. But at the same time, I love the Christmas carols because they bring joy and hope and peace and just make me feel good. So it's great to sing the Christmas carols today as we're in this setting with the scripture and imagining as we see the, the scene in front of us, that birth, that day. But on Christmas Day, we don't hear about the, the little angels and the little shepherds and the little Mary and the little donkey. We hear from the Gospel of John, which is a very different gospel. But John's gospel is known as the gospel of love. Now, when I think about love, my niece, my great niece was born in April this year. And I have visited her a couple of times in San Diego. And what I know is seeing a newborn infant and the look in their eyes, that just complete trust and faith and love. And I know when I hold a little baby and they fall asleep and just <laughs> sink into you, go limp. It's such, such beautiful love that we see. And now that she's crawling a little bit, and my niece said now she's climbing a little bit as well at nine months old, the joy they bring us, you can't see a baby giggle and not smile. But I'm thinking about that's a human, fully human baby brings us that much love and joy. But imagine the love and joy that was brought to earth that day, that Christmas day. Early in the year, I preached about uh, the Webb Telescope and the Carina Nebula. And the Carina Nebula is one of the places that is a birthplace of stars, 8,500 light years away from here. And I was trying to read more about it because I had lunch with a friend who said, well, you know, most of the universe is dark matter. Okay. I, <laughs> whatever that means. But I was reading more about it this week, and it's the dark matter is attracted to, and the more it, it's more dense or something. And as it grows and grows, attracts more, it becomes a star. And the stars literally rise up out of this space. And thinking 8,500 light years away, and could it be that the star that the wise men saw rose up from that place 8,500 years before the birth of Christ? Or I think about the Earth nebula that's only seven thousand light years away and it's called the pillars of Genesis the pillars of the beginning and I think about the marvel and the wonder and the awe and all of that was created for us to show us a little little bit of a hint of who God is what God is the power of God and today we hear from the Gospel of John, and it starts out, in the beginning was the word, in the beginning, just like Genesis, the creation, telling us that there is a new creation coming into being. But in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being through him. And without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And I think about those stars being born thousands of light years away, the light that comes from them thousands of years. The darkness cannot overcome that. But this light came into the world and in that moment, more than 2,000 years ago, the world was changed. The universe was changed. We will be forever changed.
by that one moment in history. And I don't know if the word broke through bringing heaven and earth together or if they were always together and we could see it in a totally new way. But I know that that day the universe was changed. We were changed forever because the light came into this world so that we could see the light. We could know the light. We could spread the light. So on this Christmas morning, when we are celebrating the birth of the baby Jesus and thinking about what that means for us and what that means for this world, and I keep thinking of that light that the darkness cannot overcome, that light that we're bringing into the world, that spark of divinity in us that just shines with Christ's light and the love that comes from us, from God to bring light into the world. May we shine with that brightness today and always. Amen. <laughs>